nightclubs in Scotland have just been told today they'll have to close for three weeks from Monday. It comes after fresh restrictions were put on large events and hospitality venues earlier this week because of concern over Omicron. Well, the Deputy First Minister John Swinney said funding would be made available to support affected businesses. Let's speak now to Donald McLeod, who owns the Garage and Cat House nightclubs in Glasgow and who's convener of the Glasgow Licensing Forum. Um, afternoon to you. Did, did you get any warning about this decision? <laughs> the warning came through this morning um, through various members of the NTIA and SLTA, but... Uh, you know, Effectively, no, we don't usually get warnings as such. We get told, um, like everybody else, at the last minute. So there's no really any time for preparation. But it's not something that we didn't expect because it seems to be that the Scottish government have, up to the day have ignored the evidence that Omicron is 50 to 70 per cent less severe than Delta because it doesn't suit their scaremongering narrative. And uh, it really makes a mockery of introducing VAX passports and lateral flow testing and all the other efforts that we've put in to make our venues safe. And it's not just nightclubs, it's uh, the live music venues, restaurants are getting hammered, as are uh, pubs, as are most hospitality venues. And as we can see, the effects have been dramatic and drastic on the high street and retail. Yeah, I mean, John Swinney has said that there will be support available to nightclubs because they're having to shut. Um, do you have any indication about what support you might get? No. <laughs> we, there, is, there is funding, we're getting told, being put aside. Um, but as yet, as always, no detail. And, you know, it's certainly not going to be in place before Christmas. You know, this is a nightmare before Christmas for may, all, all manners of businesses. You know, ever since the, the, the Public Health Scotland went rogue two weeks ago and basically scared everybody off the streets, the economy has been sliding and, you know, a vortex ring of doom and gloom. And nobody's putting their hands up and saying... Yeah, we're responsible for this. You know, oh, we're sorry. It's they're, they're really, honestly, I, I'm despairing. I don't think they could run a bath because if they did, they, they wouldn't have the plug in it. You know. Do you know if any hospitality people have had money from the government support package to date? No, no. I, listen, I, I'm, not, I'm not aware of any money. I just know that uh, they've opened up a process. But let's face it, by the time Christmas is over, Hogmanay is gone, that maybe we might see some money then. We're certainly not seeing any, any money just now. They've opened up, they're drip-feeding us the sort of guidelines, as they have done with the regulations and closure. It is disgraceful. You should. This is no way to run a, 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 an industry, let alone a country. It's contemptuous. It's, it's really bad. Donald, thanks very much for speaking to us. That's Donald McLeod, who owns nightclubs in Glasgow and also convener of the Glasgow Licensing Forum.